Hey YouTube, this is Jim from the Triangle 4 channel. Um, welcome back. Today's, to today's fix of the day. And it's, it's not a daily fix. Um, this is my Kubota L2850. Pretty close to a 30 horse tractor. Um, 1989 I believe. Anyway, use this thing for everything. Uh, loading bales. Um, God, just everything you can imagine, right? You know, I ended up putting a, a skid steer attachment hitch thing on here, welded that up. Um, but anyway, that's the point of this video. What is our fix of the day? What do you see? You see a tire laying there. If you look closer, you see a bag on the front axle. Well, you'd actually see it on both sides if I went around. Um, so what happened something really bad and it was beyond the fix uh, i mean i fix a lot of things but i needed this done right i count on this tractor for everything i bought it used in 2005 with the backhoe and and we use it i mean it's just a great tractor so the other day i was finishing up bush hogging i was putting the bush hog away and i heard a big crunch in the front passenger side right side if you will um wheel hub so i took it right out of four wheel drive limped it home in two wheel drive and i didn't hear any more crunching where's my hand there it is i'm not italian but i like to use my hands um so anyway it, long story short i took it apart and this is completely i will take complete credit for this um my own stupidity i check i like to think i take care of my tractors very well um you put oil in the the front hub of these um not even the hub the front axle of these tractors and there, mine has a dipstick on the other side um and i check it regularly and there is oil there problem is um oil floats on top of water Whew. Yeah, I know some of you are cringing already. Um, when I took these apart, the the lower axle and it's not here, so you could see it. Um, it's where the axle bends down and then comes out um, to where your your tire is and stuff with the hub. And that had quite a bit of water in it. Um, I knew I'd been leaking a little bit of oil, you know, from around. I could see it on the inside of the tires, but you could see it on the inside of the tire. Um, and I hadn't gotten around to replacing it. I didn't think it would be that big a deal. My tractor is normally shed kept, um, but there are times it's out in the weather, the rain and such, and water had got in. However, the oil was getting out. They just swapped places. Um, and the water goes to the bottom, the oil floats to the top. I checked the dipstick and the axle, thought everything was hunky-dory. You should have seen that bearing. It was just toast. And with all the little pieces and a little bit of rust, and there was a little slop in, in, in this axle. Um, I took it to my local Kubota dealer, and I took both sides, because I figured if, if one side had a problem, the other side's likely too soon. And if you've never had that happen, you probably will. Um, and he said it was a good idea. Good thing that I did. Um, he said the bearings on the other side needed to be replaced but they weren't bad yet. The crunching I heard, unfortunately, on this side was pieces of the bearing dropping down into, um, what do we call those gears? Like, uh, helical gears? Ah, oh, jeez. Anyway, um, they, they, they're the type of gears you see in the pumpkin of a, like a rear wheel drive vehicle. Um, anyway, um, some of the bearing pieces got in there and broke off a piece of those, um, piece of those gears now this being an older tractor it's it's not like you can't get parts for it but they're expensive so that's where i stand today um moral of the story is don't just check your dipsticks empty some of your fluid out once in a while see what you've got in the bottom um and it's this is gonna be pricey i need the tractor so i've got to spend the money um and I'm not trying to cry about, you know, money. It's just, I don't just like to spend that much. 
Uh, I hope this helps somebody else out. Um, good luck and thanks for watching.